hi welcome back to DIY Cheap Daddy uh, this is a 2009 Toyota Corolla and recently uh, you have some noise uh, it looks like it's CV joint but it shouldn't be because uh, I have changed the CV joint uh, one year ago so this shouldn't be but you have some noise so uh, I'm going to try to simulate and see where the noise come back and we go from there please stay tuned okay let me turn off the air no air and now let's hear it see that's what I'm talking about five seconds ago It's more on start and stop. Uh, yesterday I actually loop up the joint the nut right here and also the nut at the bottom uh, I loop this up so hopefully it will be much easier to remove and this is what I bought if you don't have it the next good thing may be a uh, little transmission oil or WD-40 but I heard about this one is the is the best product to remove a uh, rusted lead. so hopefully this is 2009 Toyota Corolla it's only 13 years and I don't see any rust around here so uh, hopefully it will be a much easier job uh, this is a uh, 17 millimeter socket and this is for the impact wrench which is black if you have the comb one be careful because they may not um, they are not designed for the impact wrench so just be careful of that so hopefully the power of the impact when when they turn suddenly you will very easily remove this let's find out and before I tried this uh, Milwaukee M12 uh, it didn't work it won't move at all okay here you go Hey, it works. So, uh, I'm so happy. I don't have to go through all the trouble. So, I will still put the uh, link right here. So, I have more leverage 
and this way but won't move too much when I try to uh, remove the bottom one so this is how I set it up so what I'm going to do is I just use quick and strong force to push it down by your impact wrench and see what happens if not I may have to use this to grab on this side uh, because if they won't bunch or the nut is too rusty it will keep on moving so you have to use a wise grip to hold one end and make sure you don't grab to the rubber remove the rubber and put it on the metal and grab it and push it down so uh, there's not much room here so I'm going to uh, turn off the camera now <coughs> One more time. Uh, okay. Okay, it looks like it's working. The, uh, the penetration oil is actually working. Okay, here you go. If you have a tough time after we, you remove the two nuts, uh, this you can put a little jack here and lift up a little bit, just a scissor jack like this. Uh, just lift this up a little bit so you release the pressure here and also over here, so you can uh, take it off easily rather than using a hammer. So before you put it back, just measure whether it's the same and looks the same. And uh, it is uh, before you put it back. And it seems like this one is original because it has a date of uh, June 2nd, 2008. So it's probably the uh, the make of the car because this is 2009 Toyota Corolla. And on the old design, at the back is all wrong, which is not that good because they based on the this Allen lug to hold it so you can turn it. This is the bottom, and a lot of time. This one strip out or rust out. And on the new one, it's better because they have a fat area which you can put a maybe a 14 millimeter or something to hold it back so you can turn the screw. And it seems like you also have a light and ring so this is also more, almost the same issue as uh, m the other brand mode on, on this locking thing so you can turn the nut later on 
I have it's not 14 it's not 15 and also it's not 17 so it has to be a 16 but I don't have a 16 so but luckily it seems like this is there's a lion over here so it will lock but if you need to remove you probably need to find something to grab here but uh, I don't know why they use all this outside thing uh, almost same as the move MOOG the move sway bar they're using 18 millimeter and uh, you have to find a socket for 18 millimeter and also a wrench for 18 millimeter so um, at least this brand I have 17 for the nut and I just have to find some way to to hold this because uh, this thing can turn if you don't hold it and the old design is holding by the Allen so my point is uh, if you don't aware you need to use 18 millimeter for the mold sway bar after you took off the, take off the car jack it up and you find how you need a special tool so you have to uh, put everything back and drive to get your necessary tool so I don't know why I don't design something like 14 17 to make life easier for the installation we are not everyone have two car so uh, if you jack this up put everyone in and even though you go to the shop not every not every shop carry 18 millimeter 18 mini meter socket or wrench and same as the other one it seems like it seems like the locking one is 16 millimeter so put back is the same so uh, just make sure you put it in the right the same way you pull it out and if the angle is not really slightly off you can use some force and move this up and down left and right to adjust it it's supposed to be very hard to move compared to your old one but you can slightly move it to line up on the hole For the defy sway bar, they're using 19 millimeter, so uh, which is a common size. So take off the 17 millimeter on the OEM, put it back. Is the 19 millimeter for the defy technology? Later on, you should talk this to 55 foot pound, which is almost a little bit less than you put up the wheel nut. So, so now you just keep turning. I need something to hold the bottom. Okay, 55. On the bottom nut, I cannot put this, use this uh, 
top branch so I just do it almost like when I remove the nut I just tighten it this way and as much as I can and almost like the force I used to put the nut I think uh, the real nut is about 80 pounds and this one is 55 to 60 so because I cannot put this in there if you know how to make this thing work in there let me know put some comment on it but it's very limited space in there okay that's all folks so I'm going to remove everything and go to the uh, driver side if I encounter any issue on the driver side uh, I put it on the video thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment thank you so much oh by the way um, since you open this up you may as well check your brake pad and see whether you need to be replaced mine looks pretty good so thank you for watching hi this is on the driver's side basically same thing jack which sure I still leave the jack on just to make sure and um, safety first I have another jack on the other side uh, same thing so and already loose and later on I work on the top one same procedure on the uh, driver's side but I think this is the key so if you have a top time I definitely get one of this it's about five six bucks in Walmart Yes. Yes. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching. Also one of the signs the sway bar link need to be replaced is the boot is broken and you have grease leaking out. And also this joint, right now I can move by the finger. But actually if you try the new one, the new one you can't do it. It's really tight. It's so tight you have to use two hands and also on the back one not only the boot is open you will see grease if you go and touch the bottom of the boot you will see grease coming out so the grease is gone and if you are in a rainy area so you mix with water and dust and that's why this make noise and on the top part it looks okay but it's the boot is uh, not leaking but this is way too loose this one is way too loose so if you have that symptom check this out um, for the DeFi system I got is about 50 bucks uh, if you want to get the move it's fine this part is much thicker on the move, move band uh, but since they give you the puck to loop 
you probably need to get a grease gun and also you need a 18 millimeter uh, wrench or socket for the front and back so I don't have 18 millimeter so I stick with this one and also this one they also carry in uh, rock order so much easier to order also in Amazon thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and comment also just one additional comment um, in Amazon that's a lot of other brand a lot of third-party brand uh, other than Divide and Mo because they also available in what auto so it cannot be that bad but some for some of the no name brand third party brand um i also i read some of the review i probably avoid that because the effort to put this one in is a lot of work so i would rather do it one time and don't have to deal with it again so uh, for for 10 or 20 bucks cheaper it's not worth it because some of them come in to uh, come as a set only for less than 30 bucks and uh, for the DeFi model it's about 50 bucks for a pair thank you so much for watching Driver side, brake pad is okay.